back to my channel, The Savage Life. This is Cosmo. Say hi, Cosmo. He's my puppy, Rue. Isn't he cute? He's, he's gonna be my helper today. So we're gonna learn how to fold shirts. Yay, folding shirts. I love folding shirts like this because it's compacted, organized, it's right in your drawer, and you can go. I have figured out how to make them very small. So I'm gonna show you how to make your shirts fit in a cute little bin like this that you can put inside your dresser. And my cookbook here is gonna help us out through the whole video. about you all but I I used to just throw them kind of like in a drawer I didn't fold them really well and my drawer just got kind of overflowed and I didn't have a lot of space for anything else so I'm going to show you how to make these shirts fit into this box and Pazzo come on buddy wake up we're gonna fold shirts man come on let's fold some shirts All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lay your shirt flat on the bed, just like this, and you're gonna wanna fold it over so the collar is pointing down towards the bottom of the shirt. And you're gonna fold it again so it looks like a nice, solid rectangle. Looks like I'm having a little bit of trouble with this particular material. It is a bit silky, so you might have some hard times with silky material. Just try to get it as straight as you possibly can so it looks like this nice rectangle. Then once you've done that, you're going to fold it over once. Then you're going to fold it over twice, just so it looks compacted, nice and folded, nice and neat. And we're going to put it in the bin, which is the bin I got at Ikea, and they sell them in packs of six, different sizes. This one will fit in your drawer just perfectly. And once your shirt is done being folded, you just put it right in the bin like that. And we repeat the process. Demonstrate for you again. All right, there's the front and the back. Lay it down flat, fold the collar all the way down to the bottom of the shirt as you can. Now this shirt is going to have a little bit of a bottom to it, like a little bit of extra at the bottom. You'll see here in just a second. I'll show you what I do with that. And see how it's just not quite perfect in a rectangle, so we're just going to go ahead and tuck the bottom of that shirt into the top portion. Now it looks like a nice solid rectangle. Now flip it over. Fold it once and twice. We want to make sure the print of the shirt is on top and it's going to look very compacted like that. We're just going to put it in the bin on top of the other shirt. Just like this. And repeat the process. fantastic method and I love it. I was able to fit at least, what, 15, 15 shirts in here maybe? Let's see. 13, I'm sorry, 13 shirts. But nonetheless, um, it's a very compacted way of keeping your gym shirts together nice and neat in your drawer. You can always find them 
Always remember to fold them with the decorative piece out so that way it makes it easier for you to find the particular shirt that you are looking for. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and maybe next time Cosmo over here will be a little bit more helpful. <laughs> He's just comfortable. He just wants to stay right here. <laughs> Alright guys, like and subscribe. Thanks.